welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a nail art tutorial for you all. Some of you may have seen this image on my Instagram which is below. Follow me on there if you don't already. So stick around and see how I do it. Oh my goodness, lost the nail. Today I'm going to be using the Evo Bio Sculpture Sponge for this tutorial. Fun fact, these are all shaped perfectly to my nails and they've been bare for about two months. So first things first, I will be using today by Sarah Naked. So pretty. What I'm going to do is just coat all of these. You can use any neutral shade that you have. I typically will use Builder Gel, but you can use any neutral semi-translucent. I mean, you don't have to be semi-translucent translucent to be honest. One coat and then cure. So you're now going to paint your second coat. Such a pretty pink. In for 60 seconds. So the colours I will be using are the downside about this is that you use so many colours. I love using the gloss by colours, they smell like milkshake. I don't even know why, they just smell amazing. I think that's, oh no, hold on, I haven't even gone to oranges yet. Okay, so here are all of our colours, so let's get started. You're going to grab your sponge tool, you can get them from eBay, Amazon, anywhere really. What I just like to do is I just go crazy, I don't really have any like method to my madness. For the client that I did those nails on, we had preference of colours, so I focus naturally on those colours. The last few clients I've been doing nails on, they've sort of just wanted to go with the flow, so I've just gone, let's go with the flow. What I'm going to do is start with the lighter colours, and I'm going to do super light pressure. So you're just going to dab the colours, so let's start with the baby pink. You will be needing a lot more colour than this. <laughs> and then dab on your paper and then carry on. So I'm gonna go with the baby blue. I'm going to go in with the light orange. You can go over if you wanna make it darker. Let's go lightly on here. Dab on your paper and repeat. So let's go in with the yellow this time. And then I've got the green. And then you just sort of build it up from there, really. Um, I do have a purple, which I guess I can add here. Obviously, depending on how hard you press will be how hard. See how this one has come out really faded, but then it's got like a small dot in the middle because I've just gone and like dabbed it almost. Whereas this one I've really pressed on it. So it really depends on your preference. If I miss any colors, no. let's do it. Briefly just clean your sponge, so just dab it as much as it can until all of the colour comes out. So I use acetone briefly to just clean my sponge and then I've just dabbed it several times on the paper until it sort of looks, it's obviously got a lot bigger, but it's clean now. Because there's nothing worse than having colour and then the old colour still on there. It's like not cleaning your brush, you wouldn't do it. So we're back. I'm excited for this one because this is where it gets super fun. I'm going to use the darker pink now. So I've just got it on there. See how it just like, it's such a cool effect because you just sort of go with it. If you want to have more of an impact, then you do need to use more. Like so, clean your sponge. I'm gonna go in with that color. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the green actually. Oh, that looks so cool. You know what it looks really, really nice together? Tiffany and Bluefin. Just look how nice that is. It's one of my favorite combos, which I found. Just a little bit of Tiffany. Just looks lovely. So again, I'm just gonna repeat. I think I wanna go darker on that one, actually. I'm gonna use Michelle instead. Oh, nope, not gonna do that. Wiping that off. I'm 
just dab and go along. I just love the graffiti look. I just think it looks ace. And then just keep adding too happy with it. So like I said, I'm not really pressing that hard, but obviously where you do want to create more impact, then you do need to have more product on your sponge. So at the minute mine looks a bit like this. It's soaking up most of the acetone, I won't lie. So if you have to drain your sponge, then do. So I'm about to use more of this guy right here. Now obviously I'm doing this on here, but if you were doing this on a client's nails, be cautious. You don't want to be getting it on the skin. I'm going to use Lemonade, which is the brightest shade. What can we almost do to jazz that up? Maybe go with some green actually. I'm going to go in with the, <laughs> the medium tone orange, then the darker one, so Twiggy. So it looks like this. I'm going to grab more Twiggy. So I've grabbed about this much product. I've dabbed it once. It looks like that. I felt like we needed a bit of green over there. Okay, we haven't used this guy yet, which is Violet by Glossify. So I'm going up first. Oh, amazing. And then I'm going to use my green and my yellow. I'm gonna get a bit more green. Or should I say Serena? Just dabbing it just a little bit. Now, this is your opportunity to review your set, see what you think. For me here, I want it to be a bit more just like that. What else do I want? Once you are happy, put that in for another 60 seconds. You should see how my piece of paper looks right now. It's, it's like someone threw up a rainbow. Let's take that out. So now what I do is I go back in with one layer of what we originally put on the base. So in that case, I've used by Sarah Naked by Glossify. Like I said, as long as you've got like a translucent pink, this is just going to mute some of the colors. It's totally fine to skip the step, but for the most part, I do do a super thin coat of this. Put that in for another 60 seconds. I will be using Extreme Shine Top Coat. Put them in for 60 seconds and that's how you do it. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!